exactly good. And that's how we want it to be, that he just steps in from the hind end, takes the full stride, and doesn't shorten the stride. So let's go ahead and trot on. So that's been his thing. I want to shorten my stride for my transitions, and I want to shorten my stride on my 10 meter circles, and then he doesn't come through his back. So he's low, so you want to try to get him more up. Right, okay, and we don't pull him up. We've got to push him up. So it's an inside leg to outside rein. And you would half halt uphill with the outside rein, not back. Okay, yes, like that. You see, that's under and up. And then you're gonna, we're going to go into a walk. <laughs> Easy. Brrr. Good walk. Okay, he thought about it, but he didn't. Let's go ahead and try. Right, and when you walk, he shouldn't go back down, okay? I mean, you want to start riding upper levels. He's got to be up himself, <laughs> right? Of course he doesn't want to go up because it's more work on his core. So when you're ready, you're going to ease yourself, right? And, and Right, so that one, blick, right? So this is how you want to do it. You want to think posting trot, slow the posting, sit. Slow the posting as you're downshift and you sit and he walks, okay? So you're just going to Right, slow the posting, there's your downshift, sit, walk. So you missed it by one stride, but it was much better. Yuck. So, I like to do trot walks, trot walks to prep for walk canter. So let's just do one more trot walk and see if we can get it perfect. Because we don't have the perfect one on video. Good, and you're thinking up the hill, and remember this is not about going forward at the trot. This is about gathering like that. Gathering the trot without him tilting, right? And without you carrying him up there. He's gotta, this is better. Okay, just slow him down. It's not about going forward. It's about containing the energy. Yes, ma'am. Now, oh, then you just threw him away. <laughs> now you're gonna ask him to canter. Okay, good, fine. Okay, now you see the tilt? Well, if his right ear is higher, that means his nose is to the right. So you have to level his nose out with the, yes, you can open the inside rein, you know, a little bit and say, stop tilting. <laughs> good, so this is a nice canter. Now, you know, look at your arms, they're like rigid. There we go. <laughs> This is the nice thing about the videos, okay? So still at the canter. See, he's still down. I want to go down. Well, you need to start thinking, riding him up, riding him up. His pole, he should be up, under and up. Right, yeah. Good, like that, under and up, okay? So when the mane flips up, you're just going to sit tall and deep and walk. But you're going to keep his pole up. Just take your time. Good, keep him up there. And then you're going to go back to your trot. Canter, sorry. <laughs> Need to shorten your reins. You want to think coil. Okay, you know the word gather, coil, collect. And of course, none of those words mean shortening the stride. It means gathering. That was nice. Good. Okay, I like it. See, it's definitely more under and up. Do you feel it? Yeah, good. And But you got to keep him up there. And this is something you have to understand too. It's a lot harder for him to stay up there. Okay, and then you're going to sit tall and ask him to walk, taking your time. Outside rain, you're riding him up to the outs, just wait. And just throw him away. So the canter started to get a little funky, right, at one point. And that would be typical, not typical, but that's what he does. And what you did was correct, go forward and do a light seat and then bring him back again. <laughs>